Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Gabs. This is Simply Gabs, and it's just me simply being me. Yes, as you can tell in this in the title, I am sick, but I'm trying to get my life together still. I am still going to work. I am still doing all of that fun stuff because I don't want to lose any of my days off that I actually have a day off to. Okay, we're good. So today is August 9th. It's actually 7.10 at night. I got off of work about an hour ago. Yes, I am sick, but that does not mean that I have the freaking Corona or the freaking variant, Delta variant, okay? Like, can are, are we allowed to be in a normal state to where people still have flus and just congestion? I have congestion, that's all I have. Like, I just have a stuffy nose. And the worst thing a person, like I, the worst thing I could possibly have is a stuffy nose because I hate having them. I like to be able to breathe through my nose. That's just how it is. That's not the point. I'm getting my life together and I'm still here doing a video. Today is Monday. I work tomorrow and then I'm off the next two days. So yeah, I'm not trying to call off today or, well, can't call off today because I already worked my shift. But I'm not going to sit here and call off tomorrow because I'm not going to get my Wednesday and Thursday off back to back and I've never had a back to back day off so I would really like to enjoy my day off you know you know what I'm saying school's around the corner and I am in no way shape or form ready for my kids to be going back to school or none of that like I don't even have my kids birth certificates right now guys when we moved from our, um from my first apartment that I ever had before I moved back in with my mother I had birth certificates, but because, like, we had to immediately move out because there were bed bugs, our neighbors were freaking disgusting. And so, whatever happened, we ended up getting freaking bed bugs too. I had to leave everything there and just take all my important stuff. But nowhere did I remember to think to get their birth certificates. So now I have to go through this whole process. School starts in one week, literally one week from now, from today. <laughs> And I feel like a crappy mom right now because I just don't have my life together. And and this title sucks right now because I can't get my life together or my kids' life together or get their lives started because I'm slacking as a mom. That's just how I feel. And then I'm stressing because I feel like birth certificates take forever to come in. I don't want to order them online because my mother's told me that the times that she has, she's either not received it or it's taken a long time to get them. So, like, I don't need a long time. So, what I'm going to have to do, because my son was born in an entirely different county, I have to go to that county or that city and find an annex and kind of see what I have to do or call or something because I know the pandemic's still going on. So, I don't want to sit here and have to go in or waste my time going when I have to set up an appointment or something. So, I'm a little frustrated there. I know my daughter could get away for it with another year of not going to school, but I would like her in something, you know. I don't want her to sit here and feel like she's excluded from school or anything. She can still go to school um, at her age. She's four. She's going to be five this year. My son's going to be six, and he is yet to be in school. Yes, he's been in daycare, but that's about it. I'm just stressing. My head hurts. I haven't been able to focus because of the congestion that I have up in here. And so, yeah, I'm... I'm frustrated. I, I'm not focused. I'm not mentally focused. I'm money stressed about everything, and it's not fair. It's not fair that, like, America makes things awful. Bruh. I was about to have a whole freaking attitude, bro. My brother's ticking me off because... I sent him $30 this past week, and he said he was going to send me money today, so I bugged him with it today, and now he's acting like he's not going to send it to me, and that's my freaking $30, man. That's my money, <laughs> versus I see his Snapchat, and he's using it for to go swimming or to the lake and be on a boat, and I'm like, what the heck? It's kind of messed up, but anyways, I don't want to talk about that either, like, there's just things I'm frustrated with and I'm trying, you know, like, I have no one to blame but myself. I'm going to stop sending money to my brother and I won't have to worry about this. I'm going to stop with the freaking dumb shenanigans and just freaking live my life the way I'd like to live my life and run my life. 
work was good today guys and i was on this weird shift i worked 10 to 6 i've never had that before but because we have more people working and i've been training too i've been training people so like i have this weird schedule to match the person that i'm training which is good you know i mean i've only been working for two almost three months now oh my god guys so i had to take my tabc test before i lost my uh job because i've been there over 30 days i took my tabc test but i ended up taking it after i got off work one day which was a two to ten and my mom had to take it too so she ended up getting taken her test first and if anyone knows how long that freaking test is it's absolutely freaking long my mom had to go first and you guys know that's like two hours freaking long and it's very repetitive for absolutely no reason at all uh, I didn't know if we had to go to a specific website, so I just chose one online that seemed official. And so I found one and got my printout and everything's good now. But I didn't get to take my test until 4 o'clock in the morning and I had to go back to work that day at 2. Which was not that bad, but I ended up sleeping my whole morning until about 30 minutes till work. So that's pretty much how my days have been working 2 to 10s. 2 to 10s are so exhausting. One of my coworkers ended up having a vacation the whole last week. And so for some reason, my schedule got changed to two to 10 all of last week. And my mom usually works two to 10s all of the weeks. And now I understand like how she feels when she gets home. Because despite the fact that first shift goes through a lot of stuff, second shift goes through a lot more stress when it comes to customers and people wanting to rush this and that. And it's just like, frustrating and food people don't feel like eating or feel like cooking so they like want to make a have us make a bunch of food that's just unnecessary i just want to tell them to go home and freaking or buy a pizza and go home and make it but people are like no nah, i'm good i want you to make it come on bro we got a whole line of people you want five pizzas get your life together go to little caesars that's just how frustrating i am, how frustrated i am with my job per se right now because like i wish there were limits because i don't get paid enough I only get paid eight dollars an hour guys i don't get paid enough to sit here and make five pizzas for one person when i got 20 people in a line waiting for me to take their order or waiting for me to ring them up whatever the case is <sighs> ah i hate a runny nose that's what agitates me and i think that's what like bothers me the most is the fact that i have a runny nose and everything's just bothersome right now I can't talk normal. I feel like people think that I'm walking around with a freaking disease because of what's going on in the world. And like, I don't because I don't like associate myself around people. I don't like to be around people. People ruin things for me, you know? People ruin the excitement of being around people. So the fact that someone thinks that I have Corona or the Delta, F them, like F y'all. Like I know I probably shouldn't be at work sick, but I can't afford to miss a day. Okay, I really cannot afford to miss a day. I get paid once a week, every week. And I know that seems good, but like, it's $8 an hour. Don't sit here and think I can pay my whole rent with one check. I can't. It takes about two, three checks for me to get my rent in. But I'm praying and I'm trying to stay positive. And I'm praying, praying, praying that I could get my kids in school on time and get my life together quicker than this summer came okay came and went and that just sucks the most is that summer came and went like that but anyways guys i want to thank you so much for watching this video i don't really know why i felt the need to make a video today but i just did you guys stay safe out there hope you guys are doing well you had a good summer let me know how your summer was down below if you have any other like ideas for me to make a video for i'm more than willing to make a video for you guys on that and shout out to the girl today i want to let you guys know that today i had my first customer say or she asked me when i was ringing her up if I worked in Gatesville and I said yes for TDCJ and she said this is gonna sound weird but I watched your YouTube videos and you know what I was like this is awesome bro I feel so like cool now you know but it's not like something that's that memorable but I'm very thankful that she mentioned it and that you know I told her like I hope my videos did help because I'm just not really good at you know doing this kind of stuff or doing that kind of stuff we're talking about TDCJ in particular because if i ever want to go back which i shouldn't be going back 
you know, I want to be able to still have a foot in the door if I can. So I don't want to say anything against TDCJ unless I know for sure, for sure, for sure I'm not going back. But because I'm on my third year, I'm not going back. I don't think I will because I don't want to have to get gassed again. <laughs> But anyway, shout out to you, girl. Thank you so much. Um, it was nice seeing you and meeting you. And anyways, for the rest of you guys, thank you. I hope you guys are subscribed. If you're not, hit that subscribe button. And follow me on my social medias. I use Instagram, which is underscore Simply Gabs. TikTok, which is just Simply Gabs, no underscore. And Snapchat, which is OMG Gabriella, which is the... Um, letter o m g the letters o m g and then my name gabriella okay thank you so much for watching guys besides this description and all that shit i just gave you is right here on the page and plus it's down in the description box i'll see you guys in the next video Mwah.